Hey Boss Berries, welcome back to the latest blog post. Today, since I just got back from the store, I thought it might be helpful to go over just some, some brands that I know and trust and uh, keep in my pantry for my family and myself. So I'm just gonna go over some products with you guys today so you can get an idea of um, maybe some ingredients or some items you might wanna replace in your own pantry. So here we go. I'm gonna start with sunflower seed butter in these little packets of yum butter. Also, they have almond butter and cashew butter. Um, I love the sunflower seed butter. Sunflower seeds are have lots of good health benefits and my kids like these, uh, squirting these on some apples or bananas. So those are really great. Uh, I may do some recipes later using sunflower seed butter. Pasta, you know, I like to mix it up on the pasta front. We don't do, we haven't done gluten pasta at my house in a long time. Um, and now, nowadays they make so many good ones. This is a pasta made from chickpea by Bonza. That's really good. Um, there's even green lentil pasta you can try. I like this brand a lot. Um, sometimes they add a little quinoa flour, which is okay. Yeah, there's some quinoa flour in this one. That's a, a much healthier grain than, um, and wheat and here's just a, a basic brown rice pasta which is totally fine if you can handle um, rice all right so that's a good one my kids like all of these pastas here here's also brown rice crackers this is by Edward and Sons um, this plain one is this is just great for little dippers and I really like this onion garlic one as well I don't eat a lot of the the rice products they don't set well with me um, all the time but occasionally I might snack on something like this um, with my kids. We always keep coconut milk around. This is an example of a coconut milk I like. It's coconut simple because it doesn't have any added ingredients. It's just organic coconut milk. But if what you find has guar gum in there, that's okay. Guar gum is okay, but you don't want carrageenan or any kind of natural flavors or citric acid or any preservatives like that. Uh, organic, Organico Bello, organic pasta, a marinara sauce. These are really good, so when they go on sale, I like to keep a couple of these on hand for an easy uh, dinner. The spicy marinara is not that spicy. It just has a tiny bit of a kick that's, that's kind of fun. And of course, um, I like to keep lots of raisins around. I can buy raisins in bulk on my local store, but I notice they have sunflower oil in them. I think they do that to prevent them from sticking, so I'd prefer you know, not to get added oil with my raisins, so I bought these Newman's Own Organic today. My kids like to add those a lot to trail mixes, and um, it's great. We'll make little you know, ants on a log with sunflower seed butter inside of the celery stick with uh, raisins on top or you can spread sunflower seed butter on top of sliced apples, and if you slice them like full circle wise, like this, and we'll core them first and then slice them, spread a thin layer of that sunflower seed butter and sprinkle with raisins and maybe some coconut, that's a really yummy snack as well. So uh, I may share that down below for you guys. My daughter really loves these thin snackers. I don't, I don't eat these, they're just a little bit too much uh, rice and grain for me, but um, Lundberg is a great brand for organic rice if you're veering off of some other kinds of crackers. And Simple Mills is a favorite brand of mine is too. They use almond flour and cassava flour a lot. If you see cassava, that's a root. It's kind of like a sweet potato, but, but it's not. <laughs> it's a different root. Um, Simple Mills also has different mixes, for example, like this chocolate cake mix or a um, chocolate chip cookie mix and I may buy those on occasion to make a treat for my kids or the family and um, those are really good just again you have to be careful of the fat content because the goal if we want to feel really good and reduce our symptoms then ultimately we want to put less burden on our livers and that means less fat overall so even of the healthy fats if you find yourself craving you know, nuts or some sort of, you know, nut butters, um, crackers, things that are those denser, fattier calories and meat even, then just try to cut back a little bit on that stuff. And it means that you're, you know, you're not eating enough of say fresh fruits and vegetables. So make room for those things. And remember, you just have to eat a lot more of leafy greens and fruits and veggies to make up for the calories in these higher, you know, higher caloric and um, higher fat foods. 
So that's that. And I'm always keeping my eye out for interesting new ingredients. There's a lot of things these days that, for example, this is sweetened with organic coconut sugar rather than cane sugar, which is which is really awesome. So sometimes I will buy a special product that has you know some cane sugar in it, but at least it's not genetically modified beet sugar. That's that's like the worst. And of course, try to avoid cane sugar. Um, I love it when I see things with um, these are actually really good. <laughs> I was thinking maybe my kids might like something like that. Um, and the best, if you're not going to make your own almond milk, but you want something like that, then I give this to, to my kids. This is a almond milk from Whole Foods with nothing added in it. And last night I made a little special dip for them uh, to sink some uh, almond flour snickerdoodles that I made. And I added some vanilla and some maple syrup to the almond milk and stirred it up and it tastes really good. So they like that. I really like these mulberries. These are it's very nutritious and um, they're pricey, but it's a nice, just a nice thing to have as a snack on occasion. It's kind of like a little treat for me. And Kite Hill makes a nice um, product. This does have cane sugar in it, but if you're coming off of um, eating a lot of dairy and yogurt as it is, then this can be a great transition for you. Um, yeah, so again, just be mindful of the fat, but these are good. My kids like these a lot as well. So that gives you, well, here's Lara bars. I'll also show you guys these things. Um, you know, there's only like five ingredients or three ingredients. These are mostly dates, of course, for my kids because their kids, they want something a little bit sweeter. So they really like this peanut butter one. Um, so again, I'm not, I can't say never have peanut butter. I just like to mix it up. There's he definitely healthier varieties, so we're not perfect. Do the best you can. I hope this was helpful to give you some ideas. Here's my coconut water, one last thing that I love so much. And if you can sometimes find these things on sale or if you buy them in a case, they're only six per case and then you can get 10% off. So I do that sometimes to get a little case discount. So that's about it. Thanks so much for joining me. And if you're liking these videos, please share with your friends and let me know if you have any questions you know, type them below, put them out to me, and maybe I'll do an episode, uh, a blog post on that. But I just have so much to share with you all. I love you. Thank you for being here. Mwah.